person with corneal disease can have a variety of symptoms. They can have reduced vision, light sensitivity, a feeling that there is something in the eye, uh, and excessive tearing. Some of the most challenging corneal diseases include swelling of the cornea. We call it corneal edema, which can be due to a defect in the back surface layer of the cornea, the endothelial cell layer. Over the years, I think the uh, advancement has been the fact that we selectively can transplant the different layers of the cornea from the from corneal surface scars, just transplanting the surface of the cornea, to uh, diseases of the back of the cornea. For instance, the corneal endothelium that creates corneal edema, we can transplant just the back surface layer. So we can transplant the different layers of the cornea, and in fact, we can use one cornea for several different uh, patients. So we have this small tissue that of the cornea, which is 12 millimeters in diameter, and use it in, in many different ways now. And so we can give the patient uh, the, a very tailored, uh, customized approach to what the problem is in their particular cornea. And all of this gives us better outcomes, better results. Another advance in a corneal treatment has been the use of a laser to make a more precise and accurate corneal incisions for corneal transplantation, which is, allows us to do selective corneal transplantation with more rapid and stronger healing than we would otherwise be able to do. I think the Bascom Palmer approach to patient care is directed to putting the patient first above everything else, above every other uh, consideration, their vision, their personal situation, their family, their uh, work, their hobbies, etc. All of those things are the most important thing that we do. All our research, our ed education, our teaching, and our therapy is directed towards the patient 